Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome. Happy Easter, happy Easter. So delighted to have you with us today as we celebrate our risen Lord. And our reading today as we conclude this Holy Week series comes from Luke 24, verses 1 through 12. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed with their faces to the ground. Then the men asked, why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. Then they remembered that he had said this. So they rushed back to the tomb, or rushed back from the tomb, rather, to tell the eleven disciples and everyone else what had happened. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and several other women who told the apostles what had happened. But the story sounded like nonsense to the men, so they didn't believe it. However, Peter jumped up and ran to the tomb to look. Stooping, he peered in and saw the empty linen wrappings. Then he went home again, wondering what had happened. We can hear that story again and again and again, can't we? He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I love how Luke's version of this magnificent story puts the women at the tomb. After all, the last scene closed with them preparing the burial spices and then waiting. They must have been longing for more time with their friend Jesus even if he was no longer alive. I've often wondered what would have happened if Jesus had not defeated death. The tomb would have been sealed and the women would have had to deal with Roman officers to let them in. That's the scene they were anticipating. Instead, they see the stone rolled away. Who had gotten there first, they must have thought. Can you even fathom the emotions these women must have been feeling? We read that they were puzzled and then terrified. The morning they were, pre the morning they were prepared for certainly took an unexpected turn. Their grief turned to relief, followed by incredulous joy. They just had to share this news with the others. Do you think they were ever curious about how they could have forgotten such a thing? Had their extreme grief been blinding them of remembering such a truth? The men in dazzling white, presumably angelic beings sent by God as messengers, couldn't have appeared at a better moment to bring Jesus' words rushing back to them. Do you think they'd been waiting in the empty tomb, wondering who would be the first to arrive? An empty tomb would have been puzzling. That surprise could quickly turn to anger if they thought, where had Jesus' body been taken? Do you think that even dashed through their minds? God's messenger said the perfect thing to help the women understand. From the way the women responded, the appearance of those men must have been quite something. Describing the glory of God is hard to do because it is just that magnificent. The women believed. They had seen. But when the women arrived to tell the others, the response they received was not what they figured. The text says, the story sounded like nonsense to the men, so they didn't believe it. 
How would you have felt in that moment when the others all but called you crazy? Thankfully, Peter's curiosity got the best of him. He had to see for himself. When he arrived at the tomb, he found it just as the women had explained. The men in bright clothes weren't there to remind Peter of what Jesus had told them would happen. If they had only remembered, they wouldn't have needed a trip to the tomb. They would have simply waited for Jesus to return from the dead. Are there things Jesus has told you? Bible truths that you've forgotten? There are for me. Each time I read the Bible, I have that aha moment. And I like to share some of those with my readers of this blog and the book series, Devotions on the Go. If they'd only remembered what Jesus promised, no matter how crazy it may have sounded, their grief could have been lessened. It went beyond grief for many. I can imagine other emotions would be feeling abandoned and alone, feeling unsure of the future, being afraid of what the Romans or even the religious leaders would do to them. Jesus had given them solutions to all of that, if only they had remembered. Easter is a day for us to remember over and over again. It never gets old to celebrate Jesus' resurrection and victory over death. Take time today to rejoice and be glad. Worship the risen King. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the cross and the empty tomb. Hallelujah. I can't begin to fathom the extent of your mighty power. And yet you love me. I am humbled. I bow down. I worship my Savior. Help me not to let the high point of Easter fade away. I long to grow closer to you every day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Go and live your Easter faith every day. Be blessed and be well.